Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Hexim and welcome back to another video. Now today I have a very interesting video for you guys, something that I actually watch very often on YouTube and knew about many, many years ago at this point. But I never really did anything about it, honestly, I just really enjoyed watching it and I've recently watched it a few more times, especially with Mailware Bytes and other people who got involved in it. And especially Rogamp, who was the inspiration for this video, where PC Optimizer Pro, a, you know, a program for PC that is supposed to optimize, quote unquote, your PC and also remove viruses and all this other shit. Anyway, basically what happens is they're scammers, and if you call them and you ask for help, they'll ask you to install TeamViewer and then ask for permission to control your computer, and then they'll try to install their shitware on your computer and, quote unquote, help you while installing all their shit and get their shit and, you know, their benefits and all that shit in the same time. Now, I'm not stupid. Rogue Amp's not stupid. Anybody else who made a video about this isn't stupid. So, that's what we're calling them today. We're going to call their tech support, and I already did it, actually. This is the video of it you're about to hear, where I had a little conversation with them. Now, I used my voice changer I have, which I can make myself into any voice, and uh, it was interesting, you know, and <laughs> the conversation I had. I tried not to be aggressive, because I want to be able to call them back in the future and make, like, a trolling video directly aimed at them, but this time I just asked them some questions, and you can watch how they dodge the questions about scamware and all this shit, and how they make up bullshit lies about it. So anyway, this is their quote-unquote truths about their company, apparently. Here you guys go. I hope you enjoy. Leave a like down below. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. If you want to see me just go full blast yelling at these idiots, say that they scam me and stuff in another call, let me know in the comments. I could totally do that. I would love to do it. And if you want to see me troll more people in the future, let me know. Anyway, my name is Hexium. Enjoy this video, and I'll see you guys soon. Thank you for calling PC Optimizer Pro Support. For technical assistance, press 1. For sales query, press 2. Your call is very important to us. Please stay on the line and you'll be transferred to the next available agent. The fuck is this? A mini file? Why are a mini file in my ear things? Seriously, they're blaring a mini file in my fucking ear. <laughs> fuck, guys. Totally legitimate software over here. What the fuck is this shit? I can't hear shit. It's so loud. Your call is very important to us. Please stay on the line and you'll be transferred so to the next available agent. You're delaying my fucking call? Thank you. Thank you for calling PC Optimizer Pro. My name is Victor. How may I help you? Shit, they answered. Hi, I was lucky to answer, uh, or have some questions answered, sir. Sorry? You, I have some questions I would like answered about your, uh, your software, sir. Okay, sure. Go ahead. Now, I just have some questions because I have a friend. He's really retarded. Now, I mean, I hope you don't mind the language. He tends to download stupid shit a lot, and I was hoping that your software could hopefully do something about the stupid shit he downloads. Is that possible? Um, what kind of software that you're talking about, which you downloaded, which your friend downloaded, I'm talking? 
Yeah, he downloads things. Well, I mean, he's. Well, he downloads a variety porn, of things. Porn, Many porn, things porn, he downloads. Porn, One of them porn, is porn, porn, porn. But he, uh, he downloads metric tons of porn. But uh, obviously, that's an issue. I and mean, he can help you understand that. For a multitude Correct. of reasons. Correct. I can understand everything, sir. I can uh, surely help you out in there. Can I have your first name? My first name is uh, James. James, and uh, James, asshole. can I have your email ID? Uh, my email? Correct. It's just for the record purpose, that's it. Uh, nothing to do with it, uh, something personal. So it's just for the records. It's uh, James J2 one six at gmail dot com. Uh, can you repeat that, please, one more time? James, J. Mm -hmm. I'll just give you. I'll just give you my shorter email. Would that be easier for you? Uh, yes. Right. J J one six two at gmail dot com. Okay, thank you for the information, James. Uh, just give me a moment. Um, okay. What I can do best for you is, uh, if you are in front of the computer, which you're, uh, which you're telling me that your friend downloaded some stuff on it, so I can do one thing. I can just take the remote access of that computer, and I can uh, let you know what exactly the problem is. And whatever the problem's resolution will be, I'll tell you then. He's, my friend, he doesn't like me touching his computer, so that's kind of the problem here. Uh, like, without diagnosing your computer, without getting onto your computer, James, uh, like, I cannot tell you what exactly you need and what you don't need, so that's why I was selling. Do you mind, uh, what exactly can you do when you have access? Uh, like, uh, we need to first diagnose it, the whole computer up, okay? So, if there are any issues on it, so I just need to check it, and I can tell you what exactly you can have for your computer. Tell him so to suck your dick. You. So, uh, what kind of uh, fixes could you do for me, or my friend, for him? Uh, yeah, I can provide you, you can say, I can provide you two to three softwares for your computer, uh, which will be one basically for the junk files. We'll be taking care of the junk files. And one will be about the pop-ups, like the stopping of the pop-ups, which keep on coming uh, onto your computer. And what exactly, James, happens is whenever you click on those pop-ups, right, you think that it's gone from your computer, but they get installed on it. Right. And uh, I, he told me so, that he, um, he said he's called some other companies in the past. Now, I don't, I don't know if that includes you, but he said he's had some issues with, like, four different companies. No, I don't know who's no. who. Wait, so. you're, uh, James, you were calling here for the first time. So whosoever called here for, you can say, second or third time, we do already have all the information of it. So you're calling here for the first time. That's why I'm asking you for your first name, your email address, the issues which you're facing. And uh, the issues which you're facing, James, on the computer, is it a Windows computer? Uh, like, uh, which Windows is there on that computer? Is that Windows his, 7, 8, his Windows Vista, or XP? Is, uh, his Windows Vista or XP, sorry. Is it a Vista or XP? He's using XP. He's using Windows XP, sir. Sorry, what's that? What, sir? He's using Actually, Windows Actually, your voice is kind of break between games. Uh, can you repeat that, please, what, which Windows you told me? Windows XP, sir. Oh, okay. And uh, you using a laptop computer, or uh, is it a desktop computer? He's got a desktop. He's also got a laptop, which is a okay. equally shitty, but... Uh... Mm -hmm. So, that is the thing of which I told you, James, so we can take the remote access, we can diagnose it, and... Uh, Whatever the problems are, I will tell you first while diagnosing a computer. I'll tell you what exactly the problem is. And once I'll diagnose it, if, the, if there are any issues on it, right, we need to like rectify, resolve those issues, and uh, we need to assign a technician on it who will be working on this computer, if you can say, for next uh, 45 minutes or one hour time. So the computer will be cleaned up. All right. Oh, do you mind if I... Uh do you mind if I like research you guys as a company? Because 
I mean, a friend said he had those issues in the sure. past. You know? can, sure, you can do that. You can go onto the internet. We are, you can open our website there. It's www.pcoptimizerpro.com. You can simply open the website. You can see there. We have been working for last, you can say, 10 years. With. All right. So if I were to, uh, if I Google your software, uh, will I find good news about it then, sir? Or? Um, might be. You can find it because, uh, you know what, like, sir, the different scammers on the company. You know, you can say on in the whole entire world, there are a lot of scammers, right? You you can say who can see, uh, who can say bad words or good words for any of the company. If I'm not if I'm not liking any company, I can say bad words. Get it right, over with. Right, but I do not do that. We do not do that, because we only provide support for our software. We do not recommend that you need to buy this. You need to buy that. The software which we have, we only provide support regarding that. Right. Now, I don't see very many good reviews about your software right now. Is that? Can you explain that? It's so, okay. I, I, as, uh, as I told you, uh, like you know that everyone has a different view, right? Everyone has a different view to say how to uh, like how you can say that, how you manage things. But it depends on you. It's your computer, because if you see if I worked on the computer and if it's working fine, then what's the problem? What's the deal? Well, on, on my computer's working fine, sir. But his computer is not. I'm saying about a friend's computer. Uh, right now, that friend's computer of yours is in front of you. So that's why I'm saying your computer. Yeah, it's uh, if I'll, or you can say fix it up. Yes, if it's if it's working fine, if I'll fix it up, then it works fine. Then it'll be good. The problem, I have two issues. Um, one being that uh, his internet browser is not exactly accessible. So I'm not sure what we can do about that. And... Uh, to, there's just, no, uh, let me tell you James about the access while I'll be taking that remote access off your computer. What exactly we do is whatever we diagnose onto your computer, you will be watching the same screen. It doesn't like that, like we've, I'm on different screen and you are on the different screen. So we will both be onto the same screen and whatever I will do, you can watch that same screen. My friend said it was called... Uh you know, adware and uh, malware or something like that. Uh, what does that mean? Correct. Uh, adwares and malwares are, uh, you can say, small. these are some Adware's small softwares which keep <laughs> on uh, running at the background of the computer and uh, they create Get a lot of bugs, right? Adwares are like, uh, you can say, pop-ups. Keep on coming up onto computer. Once you will click on that, you think that it's gone from the computer, but they get installed actually onto computer. So that is the main thing. My friend said that these these things are bad, and you are you are saying that these things are bad. Why does uh, why does these reviews I say I see on the internet here, the the Google say that your software is like this? Um, as I told you, James, everyone has a different view, so it depends on you. I'm not forcing you to do that. If you want to have a if you want to clean up your computer, then I can do that, but. Uh, let me tell you, once we provide you the softwares, right, there is some, uh, you can say, protection plans, which we discuss with each and every customer, plus uh, we provide you the money back guarantee as well. So whatever money you will provide us for the protections of your computer, right, that you get, uh, we give, uh, you can say, 30 days money back guarantee for that. So for next 30 days, you can keep an eye on our services. If you, if you think at any point of time that it's a scam done with you, Simply call on the number which you're calling right now, and we can provide you the complete refund on the call right away. Right. So, so it's not like that. Like we are working, you can say, for an unknown company. We are PC Optimizer Pro, and we do provide support for all softwares. It's a software company here. Could you provide me with your company's history? Sorry? Could you tell me about your company's history? You know uh, where you where you came from. Now, as I told you, as I told you, we are uh, PC Optimizer Pro, and we have been working for the last ten years, and we do have uh, you can say four to five million happy subscribers. 
customers of our Dude, get it over with. Pro Plus. Get it over with. Uh, no, get it over with. We, we, do not it support by seven. we do not provide support for only you can say in the morning or in the night. We are available 24 by 7. So at any point of time, if you face seven. any kind of issues regarding your computer, okay, we can Tell provide you the support. Dick. And even we do have uh, different technicians over here. If you do have any other computer, like uh, if you have any Apple computer, any Apple device as well at your place. So we can provide you the assistance regarding the Apple devices as well. Are you able to cover um, mobile devices as well? Correct. Like your Apple, Apple iPhones, uh, you can say your Mac computers, any of your Apple devices. Whether we can, we can uh, like we fix the printers as well. If you do face any kind of printers. issues onto the printers, <laughs> we do have expertise Dude, here. Get it over with. We work really? on the Shut printers up, and they get uh, you can, yeah. they can fix it. Um, okay. Uh, my friend, he might be interested in this. Do you... I'm not sure if he wants me to touch his computer. I'm not sure how, how you'd feel about that. And then, again, I'm still not sure what I can do as I don't have access to his internet browser on his computer. Uh, it's okay. Uh, it's your wish. I can force you to do that. So, it's up to you. I cannot force you to do that. If I did decide to do this, um, how would I go about accessing his internet on his computer. I do not have access to the browser. It's kind of filled with uh, Wait, what does it say when you get on the porn. Uh, it says your computer is infected with porn.exe slash zoophilia. And this file could harm your computer and your access to the internet has been revoked. No, uh... What kind of websites you uh, you usually visit, right? Uh, the kind of websites he visits, uh, to be honest with you, man, they're pretty much everything. Uh, everything you could think of. Midget porn. I mean, what about you, but uh, these kind of websites, right, uh, I understand that, James, but uh, uh, these kind of websites are infected. Porn. That's what I'm saying. If these kind of websites you visit onto your computer, these are infected websites. So you don't need to do that because if their computer gets crashed due to those infected websites, who will fix that then? Because if you will take this computer to the, any local technician over there, right, okay, nearby your, uh, um, you can say your home, right, the technician who will be working on this computer, no doubt he will be able to fix your computer. But uh, the minimum charges we did take for the one-time cleanup is three hundred dollars for the one-time cleanup. I'm saying with the, uh, your software, PC Optimizer Pro. No, with not our software. I'm saying the local technician will work with his own privacy tools. He'll apply some, uh, you can say, privacy tools onto the computer. He'll be able to fix it, but he will be uh, provide. Uh, you can say charging your computer, you can say, for $300, and he'll keep your computer with him for next, you can say, five, four to five days. Right. Now, so how, that is how does that information. from your software, sir? Um, as I told you, our software is a registry cleaning software. We provide support for, you can say, our software cleans up the junk files, the internet junk files, and the invalid registry entries. So if you want it, we can surely provide you that, but there is some cost involved in it. So that's why I was telling you. If you want it, I can surely provide you that. Put on stab. Can you provide me, um, can you um, reassure me that your software, sir, is uh, reliable for, for my friend? You know, I mean, I mean, I, I don't have access. Uh, I don't know if he wants me to touch it, especially with not being no, able to uh, you know. Like before... Like, without any access onto your computer, I cannot do nothing, anything. Without your permission, I cannot even get onto your computer. Without your access, uh, without your permission, I cannot get onto your computer. Whether I cannot fix it, I cannot provide you the exact resolution, what can be done. So that's why I was saying, if you want, if you want a confirmation, if you want to, like, uh, provide us the access, so uh, there might be some charges involved. If you want to take it, I can surely provide you that. Okay, sir. Well, how about this? How about I, uh, I consider your software and uh, talk to my friend? Or can I can I send my friend a text message? Uh, yes, surely. 
Alright, uh, I'll do that and uh, see if he wants me to do this with your software. Are you guys, is your software always available? Like uh, your callers, are you guys always available? Uh, yes, you can download it from the internet, but if you want to activate it, right, it can scan a computer, it will tell you, like, how many junk files, how many internet junk files are there on the computer, but if you want to fix those, then he, it will ask you for the license key to activate that. So that license key we provided from uh, from our end, but uh, we need to, uh, you can say, that is a paid software, so you just need to pay for that. Right. Oh, my friend so texted that's me. That's what I was saying. My, my friend texted me. Sorry for the uh, the text message. He says uh, says it might be okay. He says he wants to uh, be reassured as well that your software is legitimate. He says there's uh, some it websites is. I could it check. Sure. It is uh, legitimate. It is legitimate. He sent me a, a link here to uh, a place called. Uh, Virus, 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 total? Should I no, uh, no. Okay. What would that link You can go onto the internet. Just, um, I don't know how, I don't have any exact idea what that link will do onto computers, so. What I can tell you, like you can provide me the remote access first so that I can uh, tell you exactly, or even if you don't want it, like if you don't want to provide me the access, you can take a help of your nearest local technician. Right, sir. Um, this virus total link he sent me, it says that your software comes uh -huh. up as uh, scamware. Is, what does that mean, sir? Uh, nothing. Uh, I just wanted to tell you, sir, there is no problem in it, and it works fine, and um, we do have a lot of happy subscribers here. It's new, you're not the one, you can say, like, who says that I it's not good. It there are a lot more people who say that it's not good, but we proved it, um, we proved them wrong. That it's a good software, and we installed in, or you can say, a lot more computers. Not only your computer, we install the software in a lot more computers, and they're just happy with their, uh, being with us. So, that's your wish. Uh, you can talk to your local technician about it. You can fix your computer from him as well. And uh, as I told you, there might be some charges from his point as well. If he'll fix your computer up completely, there will be some charges. Right. Do you mind if I, uh, if I read up on your company's history for a moment and ask you a few more questions? Um, yes, you can even, you can do one thing, you can completely read that out and you can straight up give us a call back. I'm available here. Are you guys always available then? Yes, we are. Wait, um, according to the virus total and the Google, this, your web, your website, uh, the history, it claims that it's been installed on uh, users without their consent. Is that true, sir? Uh, I, like, I exactly told you each and everything about our software, James. Uh, it's up to you now. I cannot force you. Great. Well, thank you, sir, for your, your time and... Uh, your help. You're welcome, James. Anytime uh, you want any uh, information regarding that, you can straight away give us a call and uh, we'll fix you, or we'll try to help you out in the best possible way. Right. Um, thank you, sir. I'm, uh, Is there anything else I can help you with? Uh, no, sir. Thank you. You're thank welcome you, and uh, thank you, James, for calling in PC Optimizer Pro. You have a good night. You, you too, sir. Bye-bye. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye, sir. <laughs> this fucking moron. Like, Dude, you're supposed to be like, this is a scam you wait like till you, Wait till you see how you, I dodge the question. I just wanted to see him try to fucking admit it.
I'll call him back in a little while and see if I can get different material. He's like, I was like, so this website claims to be your, 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 your scamware. And he's like, well, I told you, sir, our website is not sure it's completely legitimate. And it is not scamware, and it is safe. <laughs> it's all this all bullshit. Right. I'm like, dude, no. <laughs> Alright, alright, my turn, my turn, my turn. If you Google, look at, if you fucking Google their software, look at this shit. There's pages on pages on pages of all their software, scamware, and shitware, and it's been forcibly installed. Anyone right. with brain knows that PC Optimizer Pro is a fucking scam. It's so fucking sad. Alright, here we go.